Hello, hello everyone. Uh, this time we um, we introduce how to calculate annuity. What is annuity? It's like um, there's many kinds of annuity, but generally it's a kind of fixed amount uh, that you get, right? Especially like a retirement, right? Uh, retirement that uh, uh, maybe after 65, just example, and every month you, you get how much money, right? Fixed one, right? Fixed money. Or another kind of annuity is like a, an, in order to uh, to know uh, the money to buy a house or something, right? So you need to pay the bank annuity. It's like a, uh, you need to pay them 10 years. Right, so you have to pay every month. So at that every month is fixed amount. So how do you pay that, right? So there's a uh, there's a lot of example about that. I think it's quite useful for that. So first, I don't want to waste your time. Let's go to see the example, uh, see the formula here. So we can see here is the formula. Uh, few f is a uh, future value. Okay, future value. So which means is the uh, that's 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 uh, after several years what's this totally money that you invested is worth it right and equals to what r is the regular payment or we can go here is uh, what we discuss is uh, annuity right times one plus j j is the interest rate per period and n is how many period and minus one divided by j so this is a future value okay so uh in order to um make you really understand and the calculation I will give you two examples and the first example I already provide a solution okay uh, so I would I will let you know one step or another step but the second example we will do together so uh, please expect the second example we will spend a long time because uh, I also I really do that together at the same time I did not have any rehearsal I will just do it and calculate it so uh, please uh, uh, bear with me that I might be spend some time for the calculation at the back end. Okay, thank you So let's see the first one First one is uh, I do two case study. Okay, if Tom Tom is uh, my friend, okay Want to borrow ten thousand dollars from me? Yeah <laughs> Of course, I, I need to have that money first. Okay, uh, and he said he will uh, add compound annual interest He will pay address. He will pay like eight percent like any interest so uh, so this is a good friend he even will pay interest to me okay and uh, and how he will pay back he will pay by three years by fixed money to me is we call annuity at the end of each month and uh, then how much will he pay at each month so that's easy right that's that's the review what's the question it is just, the scenario is like a, uh, I will borrow ten thousand dollars to Tom and the Tom promise to pay back uh, by every month at the end of every month, totally how long? Th three years, right? And uh, not only the pay, not only pay back for my uh, borrowing ten thousand, he will also add the annually compound interest to me as a compensation. So because anyway, it makes sense because every year. The money will be right devalued, right? So he gives some interest as like to cover that kind of devalue, right? So I think it's uh, somehow it's good, and you think about me, it's about me, and uh, uh, that's that's good, right? Yeah. So so the problem, the question is how much uh, he need to pay because he don't know, right? So if in this case we are the one, I am the one who will say, oh, how much you pay, how many months, how much you will pay for three years, right? For every month so how do i calculate that i cannot just say you have to pay one thousand per month right you need to have kind of base so now that's calculating the base uh the first the future value that we just uh, talked about here right the, uh, sorry the future value is here the future value based on this ten thousand we need to calculate it why because the formula here is the future value is not present value right so so future value here is what so Future value the formula is P times uh, the the group one plus I to the nth period and this period I is interest everyone knows that right so things is that eight percent right eight percent so I is eight percent and n is three years right the principal is ten thousand after three years how much money it should be twelve thousand five hundred ninety seven right so we already have future value so 
So let's just uh, take place in the formula. So formula here is one plus what? One plus well, let's go go to C form. One plus j to the n power. But j here, since we paid by by what? By month, not by year, right? We we pay. She paid me every month, so this should be the what? Monthly interest compound, right? So annually divided by twelve, right? And then how many payment? Thirty six payment, right? So this is times, right? Because three years, then minus one, minus one is by based on formula, right? Formula here is minus one, right? So divided by j, j is same. Yes, you will be divided by twelve. So finally, we get r because we have the right side, we have the left side, and then we get r. R equals three ten, so three hundred ten dollars. Uh, if uh should be three hundred eleven dollars. Okay, uh he should pay me every month for three years. Then I can borrow ten thousand to him. Okay. Then the second examples that I said I will do together with you. So bear with me. I will calculate it uh, uh, at my back end. So it will be uh, spent uh, spend some time, definitely. Okay. So, but the way is same. Uh, let's see what's the scenario. It's a new city real estate. This is a real estate, the, 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 the condo built company. And the sell one bedroom condo. Okay. That's what I needed, right? Uh, yes, I'm single and I'm married and uh, I want to buy a one bedroom condo. Why not? Why you say why don't buy three three bedroom or something? That depends on, right? Depends on how much money do you have. You can afford, right? Uh, of course, it depends on how many people live there, right? So right now for this scenario, I just want to buy one bedroom. Uh, the price $2 million, I think is um, super expensive, right? I don't know where this it is, but it's so super expensive. And it's all for 10 years payment. And annually paid at the every end of month for the fixed one. So fixed pay 10 years. Uh, but you need to pay when you sign a contract, which means you have the first down payment, right? First down payment. Uh, the first payment is uh, $100,000 a lot. And New City company will give you the compound interest of a rate annually. So what's that mean? Is that this two million is the just the present value? The future value is much higher. Can you tell me how much annuity do I need to pay monthly? Similar question, right? What do we do now? We first have to get what is the future value it is, right? So that's right, huh? So future value is equal to what? Present value, right? Present value, what? Then what? Times, right? One plus I interest rate, right? And then N, right? So for here, present value is 2 million. I just write 2M, okay? <laughs> 2 million, so. And then 1 plus I is, is 9%, right? 9%. So it's 1.09. And it's 10 years, right? How much is this? Bear with me, I told you. I'm just calculating exactly. And 1.09. Okay. 1.09. And uh, uh, then to the 10th power. So equals to. Okay. So I get here. So it's 2 million and times this is what uh i will take uh take what uh take five okay after decimal okay so this is a two point what uh three six two point uh, three six seven three i said five right seven uh, sorry, three six seven three seven three six. So what's the so, so wait ah uh, bear with me. So times two. So oh my god, so it's a lot. So up ten years it's already go to four point seven 
three four seven two seven three seven three four seven two seven this is what million dollars so after 10 years in fact your future value is already four million almost five million okay so let's go to the formula to calculation the uh, annuity how much i need to pay okay so the future value is equals to what is equals to what below is the interest rate interest rate and here's the r r i just changed it to annuity because we have to pay annuity right so interest rate is what nine percent divided by 12 right and then here's what one plus right nine percent divided by 12 then how many times 10 years every year we'll pay every month so it's 120 times am i right then minus one right let, let me check uh, if this uh right check with formula r one plus j to the nth power minus one j yeah i think it's right okay so this is and uh, let's calculate it this one i just told you bear with me and uh, for the right side we can copy right 4.734734727 million million is how many wait uh, let, me, let me check and that's that's just writing the annuity first annuity and then times what nine percent uh wait uh, so nine percent divided by 12 uh, divided by 12 so equals to what okay this could this after it gives a number so this is what zero point zero zero seven five so here we can know this is one point zero zero seven five holy <laughs> let's see how many of this one okay um uh <laughs> 1.0075 i'm not sure if the calculator can do this because it's just so high <laughs> and this is what 120 i hope i hope let's see wow it can 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 make it so this is uh eight times I minus one okay here's mine so here's one point what four five one three four five one three five and five seven anyway you might wonder why i keep so many decimal after the dot because the more decimal that you keep the more accurate and why i'm doing this way i tell you why i'm doing this way because this is a big money so you need to be make it very very smaller right so you know really how much you need to pay for every month right or not be cheated by others right so here's just 0 0.0075 okay so now we can if i'm not make mistake huh so now a is equals to what a equals to what four let's see how million is what uh one million is i'm seeing uh, uh, so this is one million one million is like a uh, wait uh oh so exactly so this if this uh if this writing is not million just a dollar so exactly so it's uh 4.7 million right so but exactly is uh uh four uh four million uh seven uh seven hundred thirty four thousand and seven twenty seven 
dollars, right? If you write it like this way, very good. So, okay. So that, that, that's me smash this away first. Okay. So this will be what? So this will be a equals to four seven three four seven two seven. This is already go to the dollar side and then decide by what? Decide by what? It would be one point four five one three five seven in a time is what? 0 0.0075. So this equals to what? Uh, wait, uh, I'm now calculating now. So for 7, 3, 4, 7, 2, 7, then times 0 0.0075, then divide 1.4. Four five one three five seven. Okay, let's see how much. Ah, got it. So, so the pay money is like do you pay twenty four thousand? Yeah, twenty four thousand forty six seven USD dollars. So you have to pay. Twenty-four thousand and four hundred forty-six seven dollars. Uh, anyway, it should be not be U.S. dollar. If U.S. dollar is so high, not pretty and affordable. Okay, let's just change to pesos. Okay, pesos. <laughs> pesos. I can't afford. That. So I have to pay twenty-four thousand pesos per month, and I have to pay ten years. Which means I pay one twenty times, right? So this is the payment I have to pay. Uh, but remember, they have uh, just said I have paid down payment, right? So I, I I don't want to calculate that now. But what we are doing is that uh, if no, this is based on low down payment. If they have down payment, then the 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 future value, which is four million point seven. You have to minus uh, by the down payment, but since the down payment is just ten thousand one hundred one hundred thousand, it's just a smaller, not really change a big thing. So, so this is uh, very close, right? Uh, Twenty four thousand for uh, sixty seven. Oh, okay. So thank you very much. And uh, today we uh, introduced the uh, annuity, and I really need you hand by hand to calculate this. Hope you really can learn from this session and help for your life. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.